Hello everybody and welcome. This is my channel. My name is Up T. Yeah. Anyway, I'm coming at you guys real quick. I've been getting another email about my Jessica wig, about that eye tutorial. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoy. Please do come back because I'm going to show you guys how to curl the half wig by Jenny Collection called Easy Eye. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and I shall be back in a minute. Mwah. Bye bye. Hi everyone. Thank you and hope you enjoyed this look that everybody's been asking about, about the old tree Jessica. Uh, we'll place that at the bottom under the video responses. Right now we're going to take the 242 brush with bare canvas. You do not have to put that much that I'm putting, but uh, that was my fault. Just put that all over the lid of the eye. It's totally up to you. You can use um, shade stick in Beijing. That's another one you can use. Uh, you can use a, a paint pot, um, soft oak tree. But um, I'm going to use bare canvas. As you can see, if you look on that uh, Jessica video, you can also see in the info box on the look. That's exactly how I did it last time. So this questions people been asking so I'm gonna go ahead and do this video couldn't find what I was finding but <laughs> I was looking for that shade shield shadow shield so I'm gonna have to do without and use um, one of my uh, face cloths for my face now we're gonna take the naked pigment with the 239 Mac brush I'm just gonna uh, blend that in with the bare canvas. Of course, you know pigments, they are loose and they will fall. They'll just glitter up the whole face, so that's why you have to sometimes use a towel, a tissue, um, just anything to stop the fall down from that uh, pigment since they're so loose. But they're so pretty! I love it. So just blend that in with the back canvas. Now I'm going to take the 217 brush with a little foley. A little foley if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a pro eyeshadow. I'm going to put the place that right at the top under that naked pigment. Just blend those in together. There. <laughs> just keep blending that in together it's totally up to you you could have used the 222 brush totally up to you of how narrow you want that totally up to you just blend it in as as well as you like or as much as you like. It's totally up to you of how dark you want a little foley. It's such a pretty reddish brown. I love a little foley. Definitely great, as you know. I uh, use that also for my uh, Naomi Campbell uh, smoky eye look. Very nice on my skin tone. I'm going to take the MAC pencil brush with Embark. And I'm just going to get right there in that corner and work that Embark in. Just go frontwards and work it in with the uh, little foley shadow as well. I haven't used this in a while, but it's definitely a good brush. It's been hiding. Just keep working it in. The uh, little foley in with the ink work. Those two colors work so well together on my skin tone. Then I'm gonna just go back in later and um, blend that 217 brush in with right after this. Take some more embark and dust off my 217. I'm just gonna make sure that corner is dark as I like it. Again, you could use the 222 brush. It's totally up to you. As you know, as I state all the time, makeup has no rules. 
So just blend, blend that in as dark as you like it. Of course, I'm going to take the Naked Lunch. I'm just going to take that 239 brush and I'm just going to crease that at the top for my highlight. You could also use the fluffer brush, but um, when I went took some MAC classes, they always use that 239. So I'm going to go back and use that today. Just blend that all in. And this is something I really don't do on camera. I'm gonna take the thinnest brush that MAC has with black track. I'm gonna try my best to make this line. That's why a lot of times I use my Urban Decay liquid liner because this can take so long. But I like this gel liner. It's so nice. I wear this a lot on weekends or to work definitely not when I do uh, videos because it's just you have to really be on point and do it right and I really can't see from the mirror to the camera sometimes so it's just uh, sometimes see how you can't really see <laughs> but uh, I love that brush it's the, the smallest brush that Mac has but it's a very nice um, it makes a very nice fine line in this line you want, you can definitely get it with this brush. I don't even know if they still have this brush available. And I'm gonna take a brown border. And you can just get it as dark as you like. You can use brown, any color you wanna use for your eyeliner at the bottom. And I'm so stuck on the new Buxom. That is such a good mascara. I sure hate to make uh, this my number one <laughs> over fiber wig, but hey, the way it goes. I love separation of my eyelashes. I really don't care about thickness and all that. I like my eyelashes to be separated like that, and that brush is amazing. So, I definitely already gave my review on Sephora.com for Buxom. It's definitely a great mascara. To me, it's a must-have. It would definitely be in your top five. And I am looking for the famous 109 brush with my mineralizer. I'm just gonna mineralize my face. I love this brush. I'm definitely gonna have to give me a second brush because I want to also use this for my foundation. I heard this is also good for foundation, so I'm gonna definitely have to check that out uh, on one of my tutorials and use it and see just what happens. And I'm gonna take the little of my barbecue pencil that I have left, because I heard barbecue is going out <laughs> from my understanding, so uh, they discontinued barbecue. So hey, this is all I have left, so I'm gonna add my see-through with that. I love see-through. See-through can be worn by itself with chestnut, with uh, 80% lip liner. Just totally up to you. And of course, I have on my easy eye wig that I'm going to be curling later, so stay tuned. Mwah.